Right gang, check-in feedback is back. Um, we are going into maintenance now for the next three days till, till and like including Sunday. Um, and then obviously Monday the fat load starts. So she wants to get my body ready for loading. So we're going into maintenance so that it's not so much of a shock because it will be like the carb load will be more than my refeed. Um, so, and like the fat load will be more than I'm used to. So yeah, um, so we are doing 175 grams of carbs today. Because I've trained, I've already had 110 because I have 50 grams of rice and then 60 grams of cornflakes. So I'm gonna add in 30 grams of cream of rice to my whey that I have, um, which I'm very excited about. Um, and then I'm gonna add 35 grams of rice cakes to my mince meal. My eggs, I love them as they are. <laughs> um, so I'm not gonna change them. Um, and also like it's a decent meal as it is. Um, and like the fats in it keep me full. So that one, like I'm fine as it is. But the mince meal is the one that I usually find um, isn't as filling. So I'm gonna add the rice cakes to that. And then cream of rice just cause I love her absolutely love her and i'm gonna have it with my chocolate orange protein powder so yeah i will um i'll show my meals but i am gonna get back to work and then um yeah we're crumb coating at lunch and i'm eating my eggs at my at lunch so um the carb meals won't be till a little bit later but i've already had carbs this morning so not a problem but yeah so maintenance phase has now begun exciting scary times Right gang, work complete. Um, I'm actually feeling quite revived. So I think it's all these carbs, which is nice. Um, feeling a bit more normal. I can already tell, like I was not smiling this morning, trust me. I just felt a bit dead, but now I'm feeling a bit more alive. Um, and we've still got carb meal. So, I forgot to show you, but I had my mince, veg, and then I had rice cakes. And what I did is I took 10 grams of the protein powder from my cream of rice and put it with these rice cakes just to try it because I've seen people do it and I was like oh I want to try that so I'll insert a photo because I did take a photo of that um so I had half the rice cakes with it on but then because I only did like 10 grams I didn't have enough to put it on all the rice cakes and I had five rice cakes um so yeah so we had that 10 out of 10 would recommend really good Right, just finished the cake live. I will get it out and show you, or I'll show you in the fridge actually, um, in a second. But I'm having my last carb meal, well, my last meal of the day, which is um, 50 grams of cream of rice, then 20 grams of whey, and 100 grams of blueberries. So I'm gonna very much enjoy this. And then um, I need to sit down because I have done, I've done 8,300 steps and I have been strictly told not to go over nine or like to stay as close to nine, not really go over it. So I need to sit down after this, which is good because it, we're all done. So, Let's do a little first bite. It has been in the fridge. 
so it's nice and chilled it is with chocolate orange protein powder as well stop it i am so excited for next week because from now basically i'm just getting more food and i can't wait mm. i promise you in the fat load and the carb load videos it will just be food that i am showing you so i'll be more on it whereas today i haven't really been because i've been working but i'm going to enjoy this then i'm going to sit down let me show you the cake quickly before i forget oh right this is a finished cake i'm in love with it she's so cute let me turn you around first um sorry but that is just too much cuteness in one little cake so if you haven't watched the live go and watch the live but she is adorable absolutely love her she's also very heavy so we're gonna put that back in there and then there's some leftover cookie pie which was in the freezer and i've taken it out and then i'm gonna cut it up into halves and then that'll be for the kids and like snacky bits tomorrow so yes morning um so it is saturday um i have legs today but it's d volume legs so basically i need to train like a pussy this morning um can't wait for that hopefully i can not train like an idiot because i know what i'm like whenever i do like d loads or d volumes i always end up just getting in the zone and training normally let's go train d volume legs i just got to the gym I just clocked on this is saturday so i'm hoping that it's not ramo because it sometimes is on a saturday morning and people just take their time and i want to get in and out so hopefully they hurry up that is just prep in a statement isn't it right d volume session done um weirdly out of breath I think um, because you're doing the reps faster, you're obviously having less like rest time in between. So I feel a bit out of breath, but I don't feel like I've pushed myself as much as I could, which is obviously the aim because you're not meant to go to failure. But yeah, it's like a different type of worn out after that. Never trained like that, or at least not for a good few years. Um, would not recommend. <laughs> um, it was really quick. It was like 35 minutes for legs um so yeah it wasn't too busy in there either which we love also i'm actually going to go to tesco's because aldi doesn't do the bagels i want i want the cinnamon and raisin uh bagel thins and they only do them at tesco's and like other places like tesco's aldi doesn't do them because it would be like a knockoff of warburton's and like new york bagels so it's only anywhere that does like brands basically so yeah, we're going to go to Tesco's. Got the goods. I also got some goods that I did not need. Um, I got some very nice plates. <laughs> I've got like an obsession with plates. But I'll show you when I get home. Right gang, just got back from the shops. Um, just got my check-in back. We're going to run the same as we did yesterday, which I'm very excited about. Um, so I've only had my chicken and rice this morning. So we're going to work that out and then I'm going to um, sort of like plan out my meals so I know what I'm having. But I'll give you a little haul. So we've got squares bars. I've got marshmallow and chocolate. Um, these obviously keep. I'm not planning to eat all these this weekend. We're probably going to do a similar thing tomorrow. She might up it, she might keep it the same. So I'll have more carbs tomorrow. Then we're fat loading so I won't be having as many carbs. And then obviously we do the carb load um, end of next week. So when we do that, because these are all sealed, I can use like leftovers for that anyway. Lettuce. I'm so excited about these. Um, the Warburton's cinnamon and raisin bagel thins. These are uh, 25 grams of carbs per bagel, which means that on like a carb load, I could have quite a few. Um, but I'm probably gonna have one with my eggs that's what i'm thinking um i got crumpets i got the crumpet thins each crumpet is 12 grams so 12.3 so two 
would be 25 so again i could have two of those similar to like the whole bagel which is kind of two pieces um so i think i might have that i need to work it out don't let me do it now um i will get it wrong but i might i think i might have it with my thing later because i might swap the cream of rice because i had cream of rice yesterday so i might switch it up and have crumpets with protein powder um microwave rice these i i have a i don't have a packet of rice but we're macro tracking now so it doesn't matter um so i won't necessarily need 50 grams of rice um but each of these half a pack is 31 grams of carbs of this and that is 125 grams of rice cooked which is more than i would normally have um so yeah i thought when we're carb loading and like tomorrow i might just have half a packet um because it's nice and easy it microwaves rather than having to properly cook it another one then i got a five percent mince sliced chicken another microwave rice um we got intense dark chocolate um this is the exciting bag these are for my mum for today cheese balls uh we got bananas these are again for my mum but i think i'm gonna take one out i don't want a whole pack of five though but i do really fancy a banana and obviously it's carbs so um that can be macroed in pineapple chunks frozen ones blueberries frozen and then i am a bit obsessed with these glass mugs because when i'm allowed lattes can you just imagine a latte in this how adorable is that i am obsessed so i'm gonna have my black coffee in it for now um i have my other ones as well i got like a little good morning one and one with hearts all over it but they're smaller they're like little mug ones whereas this is like a latte glass um i think it was about three pound fifty or three pounds then we have the plates it's actually an obsession at this point um so at the moment i just have two white versions of this so i have a white version of this but this is navy and look how nice that is so that you can have pasta rice i could even have like a smoothie bowl in it or like yeah so that's that that one was 550 it was incorrectly priced up it said 350 which is why i went for it but it's fine then this is i think my sister has this but in a different color and that is actually what has started my obsession with plates is i went to stay with her and she has really nice plates and it just makes you feel like you're eating better because all the plates are nice um so now i have an obsession with buying plates and bowls so this bowl again good for like cereal could put cream of rice in there oats pasta literally anything and it's black and it's got like this uh speckle effect on the side i don't know if you can see then i got this which my eggs will fit in which i think i'm gonna have my eggs in the other one actually today but you could also use it for like having your bagels sandwiches um this one was 350 and so was this black one and this one was four pounds and i'm in love with this one so it's like a mint and then it's got a gold trim absolutely love it um so those were all the bowls and plates i got <laughs> so yeah i can't wait to eat out of those today um so i'm gonna like semi prep my meals because i need to work out the carbs and stuff to make sure that i don't leave myself short i don't want to like have too many too early sort of thing so i'm gonna plan it out and then um sort of prep what i can and then i'll just put it in the bowls and then it can go in the fridge and then i just heat it up later so yes that is the little haul post-workout i'm having 50 grams of cornflakes and 30 grams of protein powder i'm all ready for the party do you like my dress i absolutely love it it's from um i think i showed it in one of the vlogs the one where i went to pool um it's giving granny vibes and we love it um i just wanted to do a taste test because <laughs> i'm very excited about this had to just have a moment there um i haven't had one of these since my bulk so that was april i haven't had one of these since april um and i haven't had milk chocolate 
haven't because this has milk chocolate on it i haven't had milk chocolate since april i've been on dark chocolate <laughs> since then and i am so excited for this so let's do a little taste test it smells amazing don't even it's so good it's so good one bagel thin and seven grams of strawberry jam absolute bliss last meal of the day we have two crumpet thins and 30 grams of whey um it's chocolate orange whey i didn't use all the 30 grams because it was more like it would do four crumpets so i just ate the rest of it but let's do a little taste test i would just like to add i don't think i've had a crumpet since maybe last year because i definitely didn't eat them on my bulk that's for sure. We're gonna taste test. Oh, this chocolate orange is gonna bang so much. I just know it already. Right. Stop it. If I, I'm having these tomorrow. I'm assuming that my carbs are either gonna be the same or more tomorrow. And I'm definitely making sure that crumpets and protein powder are in them. I chose this over cream of rice. Can you believe that? Like, anyone that's followed me for a while will know I love my cream of rice. But I chose this over that. Like, this is the protein powder that I'd normally have my cream of rice. If I was to have cream of rice. And I chose this. And it was well worth it. I'm, I'm glad. Because it's better. Oh my god. Also, the versatility, I'd like to mention, I could have a crumpet with different protein powder on each, which is what I'm going to do tomorrow. Because obviously you just weigh out your protein powder. So I'll just do like five grams of protein powder on each crumpet in different flavours. Oh my god. You do not understand how excited I am. Well, I'm going to enjoy this and we're going to watch some Netflix because I've already hit my steps. It is half seven. Um... So yeah, I, I can't do anything for the rest of the day because um, I don't want to go over my steps. So we're just going to chill and eat my crumpet. Oh my god. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. Morning. Feeling very good today. Um, it is Sunday. Um, Post carbs, I have... Like I feel awake. I slept the past two nights. I slept for nine hours. Um, so that's beautiful. Um, so yeah, and also like the weather's been a bit better. Like at night, it's been colder, so that's made it easier to sleep. Um, but oh my god, Dev, stop it! I'm trying to turn this on silent. There we go. Um, but I'm just eating my eggs. I'm eating them on their own. Like um, one egg and 250 ml of egg whites. Um, but I'm not having anything else with them because I don't know what the plan is yet today. It's a rest day. So obviously on a training day I'd have my pre and post meal in the morning and then go and train. Um, so then that would use some carbs. But I don't know, like I said, what the plan is today. Right. 
check-in is back um we're running slightly lower carb today um just to make sure that digestion is good for tomorrow for the fat load um so it was like do a refresh for the two days and then we still want a bit more today but we don't need as much as we've been doing so we're doing 140 protein 140 carb uh, let me just, yeah, 140 protein, 140 carb, and 20 fat. And tomorrow is fat load, so, um, so I need more of the food sources that I've been having. So avocado, um, and dark chocolate, pretty much. Don't know how much, um, but she's going to work it out today. Um, and make all the adjustments so I'll let you know what's happening but yeah and I'll bring you along for all the food eating of today obviously I'm looking forward to eating this Rice Krispie bar right now <laughs> boy have I outdone myself here this is a good meal so I have protein powder with berries normally and what I've done is I split the protein powder in half so I use 15 grams of it for a smoothie bowl. Look at that. And all I did was mix it with water and ice and then put it in my Nutribullet. And then it makes like an icy slushy thing. So then I put it in there. Berries. Cinnamon powder. And then the other half I've put on my crumpets. And if I didn't say already, it's cinnamon donut. And then it's got extra cinnamon on top. So I have two crumpets um which are the carbs added into this meal and then the whey is the same but i've just made a shake from it i did this the other day i made a shake instead of having just the whey and berries and i much preferred it because it just feels makes you feel fuller so we've got these so should we do a little taste test on my crumpets i've been having the chocolate orange so this is obviously cinnamon donut are you ready? I need to... I'm making a little collage, like, on my Instagram of just me with my food. Me with carbs. So, shall we get a little... A little photo for the gram? I'm going to do, like, a photo dump of just me with my food. And then we have to get an action one, obviously. that is better that is better than the chocolate orange oh my god I'm not okay hmm Wow. Right, we have come to the Sunbed and Sainsbury's. I need to pick up a few bits of food um, for tomorrow, just like top ups, like veg, avocado, and dark chocolate, because obviously it's fat loading. Um, and then, yeah, I just need to go to the Sunbed because I'm trying to do two or three a week leading up to shows so that i've got like a better tan but also i'm bored out of my mind um normally i would even on a rest day despite not having the training to do i would have like five six k more steps than i do today so i would have to go out for like a decent walk whereas obviously because my steps are lower i don't have as much to do um i've got a few chores and stuff to do at home so i know that i'll hit the steps pretty much just at home i've done 3k already and it's 11 30 and i can't go above nine and obviously i'm gonna go to bed at like 9 10 so yeah we've already done a quarter a third of our steps um and i've barely done anything today so yeah i just wanted to split up between the meals because i like i said earlier i do find that the cravings are higher they're fine but like I am 
I'm not looking at food like on my phone as much, which is nice. Um, so the food focus is gone in that sense, but I'm sort of waiting for my next meal because I'm not doing something. Whereas if I'm like working, then I'm busy. But yeah, so we've come to the sunbed, come to the shop, and then it sort of splits it up. I'm gonna take the dog out when I get home. And then um, we'll probably be having our next meal after that, by the time I get back and everything. So yeah, um, sunbed time. Right, little top up order done. Um, I don't need to show you, but I basically just got avocado, raspberries, spinach, because spinach is actually less, it's like basically zero carb. And I've been having lettuce, but lettuce is more carbs. So swap to spinach. Um, and then I just got cherry tomatoes, tuna, um, and some avocados, do I say that? So I've prepped my meals for today, just, it's easier. I have put it all in my fitness pal. It just means that I know that I've had my allotted like macros for the day. Whereas if I do it as I go, I'd probably go over. So we've got 150 grams of tuna, spinach. So with that, we'll have the rice cakes, but I don't want to put the rice cakes in the fridge because they'll go soggy. So we've got four rice cakes with the tuna salad. Um, then I have a hot dog roll and raspberries. The hot dog roll is gonna have my mints in it. I had that yesterday and it was really nice. Um, it's kind of like a taco, but with a hot dog roll and the hot dog rolls are 20 grams carbs. So they're slightly less than a bagel because I've only got 20 grams left. Um, they're actually 19. Um, I've only got 20 grams left and a bagel is 25. So yeah, and then for lunch, which I'm having shortly, we have chicken, lettuce, salad cream. It's 15 grams of salad cream. Um, and then a cinnamon and raisin bagel. And I am very excited for this because I think that's gonna bang. So yeah, that is everything that we're eating today. And then tomorrow's fat load. So we'll have more dark chocolate, more avocado um, and slightly less carb. So I think what I'm gonna do is probably take the carbs out of my post-workout so because I'm training in the morning um to be fair is going to give me the plan today but I'll probably keep like the same amount of rice in my pre-workout and then however much carbs I need to take out take out my post-workout because they're the only two that have carbs in so yeah that is the plan but yeah we're just making our mints there she is. Um, I put a little bit of fajita seasoning in there and then just I use the one calorie spray oil and then we're just going to weigh that into 100 gram portions um, which is basically dividing it by five. So yeah, that is the update. Right, taste test. Also photo for the uh, the compilation lovely stuff can i just say i was worried because i was like i don't want to buy loads of different bagels because i don't have that many carbs but these are versatile this is a cinnamon and raisin bagel and i'm having it with chicken and lettuce and it works it absolutely works so love that for me mm. Absolutely banging. Absolutely banging. I'm just gonna stay here, eat this, and then we're taking the dog out. Because I need to take her out. 
and then after that we're just gonna do some chores around the house and try not to move too much so yeah and then i'll see you for my meals later right just wanted to show you this because you won't actually see me eating it later but i made the rice cakes into like a crouton and then we got spinach and tuna that's gonna be later and then now we are having our mince so i'll give you a taste test um but i want to edit this vlog so that it goes up tomorrow so um i need to start doing that so i'm gonna end it after this so this is your last taste test and then tomorrow's fat loading which i'm actually quite looking forward to because i'm really craving chocolate haven't had I had five grams of chocolate today, no avocado, because I didn't have the, had to lessen my fats because of the carbs. And then yesterday, um, I also had less chocolate. So I'm actually looking forward to some chocolate and some avocado. Um, but, I've just warmed you up a little bit. This is very good. I actually really like this as a meal. I might not say that post prep, but it, it's like a taco, but it's better because tacos are really thin, whereas this is a whole roll. I love it. I just love it. Mm. Heaven. Absolute heaven. Right, gang. I hope you've enjoyed seeing me eat. And um, I'm going to go and put my feet up for a, an hour or so. And then edit the vlog. It's peak week, baby. I'm actually getting scared now. It's actually quite scary that this time next week, I will be on stage. 